hey guys, uh, an exam is coming up for immunology and I have no idea what the basophils do. I know it's something to do with allergic reactions, I, I think. Yeah, but can you guys please help me out? Yeah, it's no problem. We totally got you covered. Basophils are a type of innate immune cell that has granules, which are small particles with enzymes that are released during allergic reactions and asthma. A basophil is a type of white blood cell and a type of a granulocyte. Enzymes are a type of protein that are made by the body that help with different functions. For example, enzymes produced by the gut help with digestion. White blood cells are immune cells that are made in the bone marrow and found in the blood and the lymph tissue. These cells help fight help the body fight off infections and diseases such as having an allergic reaction to food, pollen, or dust. A type of white blood cell is a granulocyte. At a steady state upon leaving the bone marrow, basophils reside mainly in the peripheral blood, but migrate into tissues such as lymph nodes, skin, and lungs, where they play roles in regulating immune response or in the pathogenesis of diseases. Basophils fight off infections by using granules filled with histamines. A histamine is an organic nitrogenous compound involved in local immune response. When a basophil encounters a foreign substance in the body, they release the histamine, which increases blood flow, which results in swelling and inflammation. Swelling and inflammation are considered the first line of defense of the immune system. Basophils have high and low levels. When you have a low level of basophils, it means that it is due to a severe allergic reaction and can take a long time to heal. A high level of basophils can lead to basophilia or chronic inflammation or sometimes blood cancers. Oh, okay, so the basophils are part of the innate immune system that contain granules and the granules contain histamine. And those are released when someone's allergic to something. And that is important for enabling the immune response. Cool, thanks guys.